Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. I have some terrible news. If you use Kindle for Android, the flagship e-reading app, today it has lost the ability for people to make purchases. It is no longer possible to buy ebooks through the Kindle app for Android. And if you were using the Amazon shopping app for Android to buy ebooks, that has also lost the ability to browse, buy, download samples, or anything else. Today, Amazon updated their Android app to version 8.58. .8. When you install this update from Google Play, you will get a pop-up notification that basically says this app will no longer support the buying of new content. This change is to remain in co compliance with the new Google Play Store policies. The only thing that you can do is add books that to your wish list. And to make any purchases, you have to use your device's internet browser. So if you're on a smartphone, the default browser, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you have to do that or on your computer to go to your Amazon website to browse books, buy them, and then they'll get sent to the Kindle app. So the Kindle app is basically a consumption only app now. It won't have the ability to do anything else but just to read ebooks. So it's very limiting. And why is Amazon doing this? You know, why suddenly make this change? Well, it all has to do with like the Epic versus Apple lawsuit and they actually filed a lawsuit against Google and in the, the brief for the courts, it Epic basically said, hey, you know, you have these all these favoritism clauses where certain apps don't have to like pay the 30% commission. Not all apps are using Google Play billing. so." Why, you know, why is our apps subject to a 30%, you know, uh, fee from Google? And why can't we use our, our own alternative billing system? So Google was like, hey, you're right. We're going to force everybody now to use our own Google Play billing system. So apps can no longer do or use their own internal billing system. So that has dramatically changed the digital content landscape when it comes to both ebooks and audiobooks. Uh, early in May, Audible announced that they will no longer be selling audiobooks within their Android app from Google Play you will still be able to purchase subscriptions and buy credits, but that's basically about it. Three days later, Barnes & Noble announced that they were also disabling the ability to buy audiobooks and eBooks within the Nook app for Android. And not only does this affect people that were using the Nook app for Android on smartphones and tablets, but their own line of Nook tablets by Lenovo or the Samsung Galaxy Tab for Nook or even Barnes & Noble's own tablet hardware. It's basically unable to buy digital content. So you now know the reason why Amazon did this. It doesn't make economical sense to pay Google 30% of every ebook sold. It's just the Amazon would lose money on every single purchase that they would make. So what are the alternatives? Well, there's a few. You could install the Samsung Galaxy App Store and the Kindle app through that does not use Google Play billing. You could also install the Amazon App Store for Android and then download Kindle or Audio Audible from there as well. And that goes through Amazon's own billing system. So it circumvents the Google Play system. And you'll still have access to all your titles because you're effectively logging into your Amazon account. So anything that you purchased in the past, it'll be immediately available to download to your library, any highlights, notes that you've made, anything. It'll, it'll be available, a Kindle app, Basically, no matter where you download it from, you'll still have access to everything. And same with the, the app for Google Play. If you had the Kindle app for Android already installed on your device and you have purchased, like say, a big number of titles, even five, one, a hundred, 
you'll still be able to read those in your library. So your titles aren't disappearing. The only thing that's happening is new purchases from the Kindle store are not allowed anymore. So this dramatically changes the ebook reading landscape for Android. And Amazon is the largest ebook retailer in the world. And now suddenly with both iOS and Android, it's consumption only apps. You can just read and that's about it. It's jumping through a lot of hoops and this is going to negatively impact them. You know, people that just want to use one app to buy books and browse for books and do everything. And that's, that's why I use the app. And now suddenly I'm forced to change the way that I've always used the app to doing other things. And that doesn't sit well with me. What do you guys think about this? Are you happy? Are you discouraged? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. And for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.